Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night, as the Covenant hero worshippers of the Outcast expand their holy empire to the edge of the eastern restless shore. KOTT News were on the scene in Moon Bay and spoke with company leadership about the fight. Congratulations on your victory out here in Restless Shore, pushing off the Marauders from the map, making you the one and only true believers out here on the island. How do you feel about your victory? Oh, we're feeling good, man. Look at the map. Map is looking good, I'm telling you. It's been a long time since I've seen this much faith uh, across the island. Pretty soon, the whole island's going to be a believer in this spark. How do you, how do you feel about that? I, mean, I feel great. I feel great, honestly. More and more people they believe in the cause. I know. Pretty soon everybody's going to believe that we can hold them, hold them off. No more corruption. They'll all believe in the spark. Hey, I think we actually held out three invasions tonight. So. You did. And Brightwood, Reekwater, and Cutlass Keys, give it up for the invasion response squad. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Was there anybody who uh, outshined themselves in their performance tonight out on the battlefield for you? Well, I guess see the Prince squad, man. The Prince squad went crazy tonight. We, we hold them off. As best we could, we were losing around the point, off point, but we held it down on point, and then once we came to fort, it was a done deal. Turning to the weather for tonight, and it's looking like another afternoon of sunshine for all the day walkers of the island. And the evening's invasion response squad is looking like a pseudo night off, if you can call it that, with only a 10% chance of invasion. Two lineup submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the Marauders of EP Town attack the Covenant converts of OPR Esports for control of the rain-drenched mountain region of Morningdale. EP Town scrambling for a place to call home after being dislodged from the restless shore, take a shot at capturing the neighboring region to the north but OPR Esports were standing by for this possibility as their fellow Covenant company were lowering the flag in the fort. OPR was ensuring their gates were secure for this moment. Then the syndicate members of JDB's kitchen assault the Covenant hero worshippers of the outcast for control of the bear infested deep forests of Brightwood. JDB getting antsy for some action decide to expand their land holdings through the central corridor by traveling to the northern forests and dividing the outcasts in half. The outcasts presently holding more of the island than any Covenant faction before them, but will they be able to hunker in and prevent the offense of JDB from breaching the gates and grabbing their flag? Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.